So there's three principles. First is the perfection principle. Second is the resistance principle. And third is the harmonizing principle. So the first perfection principle is basically declare that you are perfect, but there are barriers that are preventing you from expressing and experiencing your divine perfection. Principle number two, the resistance principle, right? Like you were saying, resistance leads to persistence. Putting that mirror in front of things, right? You're resisting looking at the actual thing. And that's going to make that issue persist right if you try to resist or change something it will become more solid the only way to get yeah. rid of something is to let it be basically this doesn't mean to ignore it ignoring is a form of resist resistance the reactive mind will try to eliminate stress anxiety anger boredom guilt shame headaches etc by quote eliminating it to let something be means to observe it and stay in touch with it but make no effort to change it Fully. if you try to change tenseness the form of the tenseness may change but the tenseness will persist the effort to control or change something absolutely ensures its persistence just let it be observe it stay in touch with it but make no effort to change or control it and then number three the harmonizing principle the recreation of an experience make the experience disappear so this one's really interesting mm. to recreate experience you have to totally get in touch with it you're rebuilding it element by element until it's entirely restructured and the paradox is that it disappears trying to change an experience makes it persist recreating an experience accepting it being with it observing and feeling it makes it disappear 